It is so exciting. And, you know, this is big news as well. The legendary Lou Nanny is going to sign off on his final Minnesota State High School Hockey Tournament broadcast Saturday night. That's it. Mm, we all know about Lou from his hockey playing days and on television and radio. You've seen him. You've heard of him. But Tom Hauser actually spent some time with Lou Nanny's family to learn more about the man behind the microphone. You know that they're capable of taking that puck and really creating opportunities. He just has got a great vision of the ice. You're going to really open up the whole ice for your team. Lou Nanny's voice will forever be associated with the Minnesota Boys State Hockey Tournament. Here comes Hankinson for Nanny, scores! Including color commentary on his son Marty's appearance in the 1984 state tournament. Hankinson with a great play coming across the blue line, allowing Nanny to cut behind the defense as he does. He got shot, score! And nearly three decades later, two of his grandson's tournament games. Well, Tyler Nanny got the pass down off the side. When the two of you got married, did you have any idea what you were getting into? No, absolutely not. <laughs> Lou Nanny has been married to the state attorney almost as long as his 61-year marriage to Francine Nanny. So this story is more about family than hockey. He was a great dad, but I was a great mom. <laughs> <laughs> this family loves to laugh, and they can dish about Lou. Is this off camera? No, yeah. no it's all on camera. Yeah. <laughs> no. yeah. For instance, Lou Nanny had four kids and never changed a diaper. No, he never did, no. He used to wait for my mom to get home and we'd be sitting in a dirty diaper or whatever, and or he'd go to the neighbors and say, can you change this one for me? And then there's this. Back when we had a farm, a lot of people don't know that they bought a farm in Litchfield. Yes, Lou Nanny was a part-time farmer in the 1970s. So he went and rent, rented a rototiller. And so he's out there like knee-high socks and you know, black socks, sandals, shorts, big lamb chop sideburns. Long story short, it didn't go well. You know, he's cussing and everything. I think Cesar Maniago and maybe Murray Oliver pulled up. And they, they said, Lou, hey, Lou, what you doing? He goes, I'm making Francine a, a guard. You thought he wanted a garden. Lou even tried to raise beef cattle, but he thought they just fed on grass in the fields and didn't know he needed to feed them. The cows lost weight. They couldn't actually use them to slaughter them, so <laughs> they had to replace the cows. He says, I had no idea these things didn't just eat the grass. So, In the middle of this madness is Michelle Nanny Letary, mother of Minnesota Wild player Vinny Letary. It was easy being the oldest and the only girl, and I feel like I was the apple of my dad's eye, which was nice. Michelle and her siblings speak reverentially about their dad. He's in incredibly in love with his grandchildren, great-grandchildren. Her brother Mark recalls his dad's courage when he lost a son to a brain tumor in 2012. Mark's twin brother, Michael. We were all fighting. Yeah, yeah. For his life. Yeah. And uh, he was there, you know, leading the charge. It never gets easier as the years go by. No, a lot of times families fall apart when terrible things like this happen, but for us it was the opposite. They grew closer. Mike will be there in spirit as the family celebrates Lou's final year at the Minnesota State High School Tournament. I think he left his mark on the tournament, left his mark on the state of Minnesota, and uh, we're all very happy for him and looking forward to uh, celebrating with him this weekend. And you heard right, Lou Nanny and his wife Francine had four children, and Lou never changed a diaper. Guys, do not try that at home if you want to stay married for 61 years. <laughs> As it turns out, Lou Nanny is married to a saint. And yeah, you, so. <laughs> you can hear the legendary Lou tonight over on Channel 45 as he calls his last yeah. game tonight and tomorrow during the state boys high school hockey tournament. Incredible. You've worked with him at the tournament yeah. for, for 20 years. years. I've been working with Lou Nanny and I've known him since I was in high school. I went to high school with a couple of his kids. And you so, learned a few okay. new stories there. I yeah. did. Things yeah. I had never heard in all the years I've known the Nanny family. A lot of love in that family. Absolutely. A lot of love for Lou. Yep. Mm -hmm. Tom, okay. thank you.